Hello, Hans Thyssen here from Scale by Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built my support ticket system using Go High Level and a form builder within Go High Level. So everything is in Go High Level. This is due to the fact that some people might not want to add everything. We have support, uh, sort of chat support, but as I write here, for support issues that involve sensitive information, you might want to uh, to write to us using a ticket support or email support. Um, so this is how the form looks. Very, very simple. Email, what's your problem? Add a screenshot, please. Um, and then click submit. What this does is that it adds it into our uh, Go High Level account here under opportunities. We're using the opportunities tab to control the stages of our support ticket. Um, then it goes in here as a new ticket. We can then move it over into in progress. And then when it's done from in progress, we can add it to either of these three. It will do the same thing. Then it's out of the system. Okay. So first thing we're going to use or create a pipeline. So we go to pipelines, then we create a new pipeline. We're going to name this test support. You'll probably just name it support. And we will add the uh, two stages in my case, like my use case, it'll just be new ticket and in progress, then click save on that. So that creates a new uh, pipeline here. So my original support, my active support is just like this. Um, nothing fancy there. From here, we will go ahead and create a form. So you will go to your sites, you'll go to forms you'll go to builder, click on that. Then we will add a form and just start from scratch, the easiest. I'll just open up my form, and then I'll show you how or what has been done. I've added a text field at the top, uh, scale by tech support ticket. I've added the email field, so we can go up and click this plus element and drag in email. Then we have a multi-line field. So if we scroll down here, we find, there we go, multi-line. And this is where we need to be a little bit uh, detail oriented because once you label this, so let's just, you can see that it's called multi-line and then you, it's given a unique number here. Um, so let's rename this to problem test thing like this. Let's expand the advanced here. And you can see that it has now renamed these two here. I would also rename this field. The reason for this is that these multi-line fields are saved under the contact and not under an opportunity. So we need to have a specific field which we can reference. So not just call it uh, multi-line yada yada yada, but give it a specific name that you can remember and reference and that makes sense. Um, so this will become, if I close this one, open here, on here, you can see the unique key that is given is called contact dot problem because we I've named this specific field problem. So we get contact dot problem. And in order to we need to create a new field, just this is a first step. So create a custom multi line field and rename it problem. Remember to rename the query as well. A unique key. So we can reference this. Let's go back and don't save anything. Here, we then need to go and create the exact same field, but for the opportunities. So if I jump over here and go to opportunities and open this one here, we can see that I have a field here called problem. But this is not the contact problem field. This is an opportunity contact or opportunity field called problem. Um, so there's a difference here. Okay, we will go to settings. We will go to custom fields. And we will, first of all, once you've done the initial setup with the form, go ahead and search in this here and find your contact field just to make sure that it is there. Then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and create a new field, add a field. You'll go ahead and select multi-line, click next. Then I would suggest that naming it the exact same or like um, that would be problem, or you could do opportunity problem, for example, if you wanted that, but I just named it problem. 
then it needs to be linked to opportunity. So instead of contact, we'll go ahead and select opportunity and group it by opportunity details. Then click save and you will now have an opportunity problem field like this one up here, that field. And that is important because now we're going to start the automation part. I will close that one, close that one and go to my, I created a folder called, let me just go back one. I call create a folder called zero zero support. So create folder, name of that, keep it organized. The first one, zero zero um, dash and then support ticket received. Let's go into that one. And we will then click here on add a new trigger. And then uh, you'll search for form and then form submitted. Click that one. Once you open the form, you'll go ahead and add a filter and say form is, and then select which form you would like to trigger this automation. And for our, in our instance, that is of course support tickets. Let me just reselect that. Then I've added a open AI GPT node. Yeah, that's fine. GPT for turbo, that's also fine. And then action type is a custom field. Then I write this, create a two to five word title based on the below support request. The title must not have quotation mark or any special characters, only output the title and nothing else. Then I just add this support request equals. Now, since we got that contact dash problem from our form field, you can go ahead and click on this um, like tag icon, click on contact, go down to custom fields, and then you will find your problem. And there we go. So that will add in whatever we write in that um, problem field in our form. Awesome. That will generate an output and we're going to use this in the next field. So now we're going to add this field called create or update opportunity. You'll just search for opportunity OP, then select create slash update opportunity. Here in this one, we will select the pipeline, which is support. Then we will set the uh, what stage it should be in and then new ticket, of course, the first stage. Then in the opportunity name, can I know? And add an enter. I've added the chat GPT response. So you can uh, click on this tag again. And now you will find here down here to the button, the GPT node from just one up, click on that, then expand that and then click response. That way, whatever the AI outputs, it will just be pasted here. Then I add a dash, then I add a unique number. This is just so we don't get two names. So if two people write in about the same stuff, like if something breaks in your business, <laughs> many people might be writing about the same thing. So it's nice to have a unique ID number. Uh, I do this by just adding uh, some time codes here. So this is uh, now minute and now second, you'll find them under the tag, go down to right now. And then I just added minute and then I added second. So that will create a unique number after the dash. So the like the chances are that two of them will write in with the same problem, with the same AI like response on the same minute and second is like so slim that I'm gonna take that chance. Okay. The next thing is we're gonna set the status to open. Should be set to open anyways, but I just added there. Now like if I remove this one, you can go down here and click add field. Now you can find the problem field under custom. Then we're going to add in our contact. Let me just scroll down here, go down to custom fields and we're going to find problem, problem. There we go. Problem contact dash problem. We're simply just going to copy paste the field from the contact as problem over to the opportunity dot problem field because else let me just go over here that is the only way to populate a field that you can see within the opportunity like um, thingy here so you need to copy and paste that over and this will be unique per opportunity where the contact field will change every time the person adds a new support ticket 
And then I've added an internal notification because I like to get notified. So internal notification, SMS to a particular user, and that will be me. And then I just add new support ticket from, then I add the uh, contact first name. Again, go up here, click contact first name. And then I just add an email to get a bit more context on who's writing. So when this triggers, we uh, get the support ticket in, we write a title for it. You can see it here, make.com access issue. Then we create the opportunity and add it to the new ticket um, stage. And we send an internal notification. Okay, awesome. Let's just trigger one. So let's go over here and, oh, I forgot to say one thing. I'll just show you in one sec. Paste that, no, um, uh, do, 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 do. can't generate keywords with the TKM. Something like that. Awesome. That is now triggered. I'm just going to refresh here. What I didn't forgot to say is not here, but in the sites and under the form, I have added an autoresponder to the actual form itself. So let me see, show notification settings, go over there, notification settings. So I've enabled autoresponder on and subject uh, scale by tech support ticket received. And then the the reply email is this support at scale by tech .com. Sender name SPT support. What this does is it sends it's, it's like it's written right here. Send an automated email to the person who submitted the form, including a copy of all the information. This is just nice thing. Like in the subject, we received the uh, ticket, and I can so I just got a message on my phone that we just received the ticket from before. So it's just a nice um, reminder to people that we actually got their message. So it's like in support, like everything is bus in business. Um, it's always good to follow up. More follow up and checking in is better than waiting. So, and you'll see that in my next automation. Now let's just update here. We should have a new um, support ticket in the pipeline. There we go. Come on. So TKM keyword issue 5715. I open this, scroll down, and then we have the problem here. Can generate keywords with the TKM. Awesome. I can now move this over to in progress. When this happens, we trigger a new uh, automation. So 01 support ticket started. Again, we add a trigger with the opportunity, and then we take opportunity stage change. This is this one. We add the filters with, which is in pipeline support. It needs to be in the pipe support pipeline. And the pipeline stage is in progress. So when those two conditions are met, this automation is triggered. And this is just a simple email to the um, customer that support ticket started. And then we add in the opportunity name. Again, you can find this on the tag here, opportunity then opportunity name. And then I write an email. Hi, first name, uh, a scale by tech support member are now on the case. We're looking into your support ticket and we'll get back to you ASAP. And this is just super nice to know, like I've been on the other side, just knowing that a support representative are on the case. So good customer support. So that is everything within this specific stage here. So we can move this over here. And this one, if I update, will update to 14 total enrolled. And since I'm sending emails to myself, I will receive an email, my phone. So I don't know if you can see it, but we have well, there all these support emails <clears throat> and forms and all that. There we go. Just stating that we are on it. From here, you can then like the support rep would go in and open the contact. Um, that would be here, opening up the contact and then um, starting to email and all that jazz. So standard support here that like, um, for example, this one, you can see that we got this email here 
you then go in and click reply on this email, then we keep it in the same thread. So support ticket started, and then we have the uh, name. We can then start to uh, reply here, hi, and so forth, yada, yada, yada. Awesome. Let's have a look at the final stage. Once we have resolved our support ticket, we add the automation, which is 02 support ticket closed. This uh, specific automation is triggered whenever we drag this support ticket down to lost, abandoned, or one. It, like this pipeline, it doesn't matter which one we choose. Um, we just want to get rid of it. We have now closed this. Whenever that happened or happens, the final uh, automation will trigger. We have three triggers because um, we added in the opportunity status change and the status change is to abandoned. So again, filters in pipeline support has to be in the pipeline. So remember your filters in pipeline support, move to status abandon, lost um, and one. The reason why I have three is because I can't add multiple, like I can't select multiple here. So I need to add a trigger for each of those stages. That's just how it is. Once this is moved to either of these ones, it's closed. We send a new email, again, support ticket now closed, and then opportunity name. This is from skill by tech support, email from support at skill by tech.com. And then we say, hi, contact first name. We have now closed your support ticket. Please submit new ticket. If you encounter a new problem, best scale by tech, and then down here, we add the actual, like what they wrote to us um, as the support ticket issue. And uh, one thing to note um, that, and that's the whole support system here. One thing to note, I think I didn't show this is you need to, in order to have multiple um, support tickets from the same person, you need to go into settings. Let me go here. Go to business profile, turn this on, allow duplicate opportunities. And we we'll also need to go, let me go back. And in the first support automation, when we create the support ticket, you will need to turn on this one, allow duplicate opportunities. Please remember that as well. Um, luckily I didn't forget it, um, but put it at the end. So Easter egg for those people who watched all the way to the end. <laughs> yeah, have to uh, add that allow duplicate opportunities. Otherwise, you will only be able to have one support ticket per client. Most times that is okay. But if you have somebody who writes a lot of support tickets and a quick, uh, quick note for people who run businesses that most like it's always the same people writes the most support tickets anyways. Um, hope you learned something and can use this in your business. If you need a go high level account, there's a link in the description, pretty cheap. If you want some free automations, you can join our free community where we have a bunch of stuff under courses. We have our blog booster blueprint, which is a complete automated blogging system where you can download uh, that's because I am the administrator here, so I need to go to here preview, where you can download all of the make files here. So all the make scripts, and you also get the Airtable base, and you get videos accompanying everything, and everything is explained. We even have a question sections here for Block Booster Blueprint questions. So if you have specific questions here, you can just ask. And we have like almost 2000 people gotten in so far. So it's not, uh, it's not something that nobody knows about, but at least it works and it's like high quality automations. So we're giving this away for free. And we also have some other tools for free. I think we have this one, um, the vault here, free scripts, uh, for make a lot of good stuff. Anyways, see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.